Do right. you think uh, that this looks like a full-scale resumption of hostilities? Well, in international circles, this is being described as a serious breach of the truce uh, that was agreed in March. Uh, so it's obviously very ominous, but it isn't really being seen as a return to full-scale hostilities uh, at this point, although, of course, that is the worry that it could become that. Uh, from what we know, the flare-up is uh, centred near Kubo, you can see on the map there, in the north of Ethi Ethiopia, just south of uh, the Tigray region. And uh, it's been said by the Tigrayan rebels that they are expecting a major attack from uh, Ethiopian forces. So they seem to believe that this is just the start of something bigger. Obviously, we'll have to see. Uh, but as you said, Aaron, a lot of uh, international reactions already uh, from the African Union, from the United States, and from the United Nations, from uh, the, the head of the UN, Antonio Guterres. Let's take a listen to what he had to say about this, uh, this breach of the truce. I am deeply shocked and uh, saddened by the news of the resumption of hostilities in Ethiopia. Ethiopians, Tigrayans, Amaras, Oromos, Afars have already suffered too much. My strong appeal is for an immediate cessation of hostilities and for the resumption of peace talks between the government and the TPLF uh, with, uh, at the same time, the full guarantee of humanitarian access to people in need and the establishment of public services. So I think it's pretty clear from that, Aaron, that in the international community, no one wants to see uh, a major destabilization here, neither in Ethiopia or a kind of uh, unraveling in the Horn of Africa more generally. And no one wants to see that, Armin, at least in part, obviously, mm. because of the humanitarian crisis. So can you tell us precisely what that crisis looks like concretely? Can you give us some key facts? Yeah, so in uh, Tigray itself, uh, some of the, the, the key problems there uh, are no banking or communication services. No banking means that Tigrayans can't withdraw their savings, so that's a, a huge thing. Uh, restricted fuel imports, which actually uh, is linked to the third point, 90% of people needing aid, according to the United Nations. The way those two are linked is that uh, fuel is needed to actually distribute aid. So if there's no fuel coming in, there's no way of uh, spreading the aid around, which obviously compounds the problem of more and more people needing aid, which in turn then has this knock-on effect on malnutrition, again, according to uh, the uh, World Food Programme and the, the United Nations. So uh, obviously a very serious situation there, and the UN is saying that it's set to get worse at least until uh, the harvest this October. So, Armin, uh, who do you think, if anyone at all, can help deliver sustainable peace? Well, sustainable is really the, the big uh, question, Aaron. Uh, there's been a mediation attempted by the African Union since last September. The Ethiopian government, with reservations, accepted that effort that's been led by Olusegun Obasanjo, the former uh, president of Nigeria. Uh, but the Tigrayan leadership believe that the AU uh, has been at best ineffectual and at worst actually covering for the government in Addis Ababa in uh, Ethiopia and essentially that that uh, that uh, the Ethiopian leadership has allowed uh, a kind of stonewalling of any meaningful shuttle diplomacy to happen. That's the view from the Tigrayan uh, leadership. Uh, meanwhile, Addis Ababa says that there's this unrealistic set of preconditions that have been uh, put forward by uh, Tigrayan leaders uh, which they say is non-negotiable. So uh, the free movement of humanitarian supplies, uh, removing this terror terrorist label from the TPLF, reparations for war damages, accountability for physical and sexual violence, holding a referendum on independence and disarmament of the Tigray Defense Forces, or TDF. So these are very, very wide-ranging preconditions. And the Ethiopian government, not totally surprising, is saying we can't start with this kind of list and say, you know, we take all of these things off the table because essentially there's nothing left to negotiate. So uh, the two sides very, very far apart at the moment. Certainly not reassuring. Armin